What's going on, y'all? Rise Gray coming at y'all with a quick uh, review. Reviews. A few reviews. But before we get started, let me find some music for us. I want to be, I'm a little shook up. I'm a little shook up. So forgive me. So. Let's just throw a little music on just to, just to mellow it down, all right? A little shook up over this, this other shooting thing. I mean, amongst other things that's been going on, man. I mean, you know, but I am a little shook up over there. But, um, you know, what you gonna do? Uh, so I'll put that video up on Facebook, so y'all can check that video out if you want. But as far as these fragrances, we're gonna talk about the fragrances. You know, I'm not really in the mood to really talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna try to find some little, little point of, of, of escape from the man that's around us right now. We're gonna, we're gonna find a little point. So I do this because I, I told folks I was gonna do this, so I'm, I'm gonna do it. But this is probably gonna be my last video for a minute. You know, I stepped away for a while because, you know, because of CD. And because of other things, man, but just just this just this stuff going on around us, man, just can't be ignored. You know what I'm saying? So again, I want to thank the Heavenly Father for the opportunity to be able to talk to you guys. I pray for you day and night. I pray that everything is well with you and your family. And I continue to pray for you and pray for this world. Pray for this, this, this crazy place that we have to live in, we have to dwell in. And I pray that somehow it get better. Somehow. Do everybody pray. And if everybody just prayed together, Heavenly Father see you heal this land, all right? And I thank you guys for checking me out today. So though this is not really a solemn particular situation, it is, you know, we still have to, you know, the Heavenly Father said we can't have some joy here. As long as we keep it within respect, you know what I mean? In respect to knowing that He is the source of everything. So everything I have, everything I have right here has nothing to do with me. Because, you know, if I wasn't able to do it through His strength, I never would have made it. No matter what I've done in my life, you know what I mean? Up to this particular point, you know, I, I thank Him for what I have and what I don't have. So I thank Him. That I'm able to do this fragrance with you guys with these fragrances that you know that came across my way, and I wanted to pick up another one today. I'm not sure, cause I don't know if you know with my video about really we should stop spending our dollars for a day or two. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna go grab this or not, but um, there's another fragrance I want to get. I want to really check out. It's only a 30 mil, but um, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. So let's talk about these fragrances here, young people. All right, we're gonna start off with what came in yesterday. I saw someone selling this, and you know, I'm a, uh, it's by Atkinson's. This is called The Odd Fellow Bouquet. Um, this consists, uh, let's go by the main accords. It can be balsamic, amber, tobacco, fresh, spicy, and sweet. Um, retail is gonna cost you, I don't know, what, buck 75 or something like that. You can get it from Barney's. Barney's usually the one to carry Atkinson's. I, I first got an Atkinson's uh, when I was taking out Ooh Save the Queen and Ooh Save the King. I really like Ooh Save the Queen. This right here, bottle is nice and heavy, top, nice and heavy, nice heavy chrome top. That's very nice, heavy chrome top too. And the bottle is really nice, nice thick glass and everything, you know what I mean? Atkinson's on the bottom, all right? Odd Fellows Bouquet, leather. Coach had become one of my favorite leathers. Tuscan leather has always been there. But as far as something I knew I can wear, like Mona Diorio's Cure, it's a little too heavy of a leather for me. Cure, uh, a Cure Amethyst is a, is a pretty nice leather, but it's, you know, Cure Noir, both of those by Armani Pre. And then we have one of my favorites, Cure Velour, which is kind of sweet and whatever. This is an EDT, EDT. So this is not perfume. So, but I sprayed this yesterday and it lasted a long time. I sprayed it last night because I had to work last night, some extra work. And it lasted the whole night. I, I smelled it all night. So it has some good lasting power. I'm not sure far as it seals anything. I wasn't around anybody, but I smelled it all night. Sprayed it on top of my hands as I normally do, my neck, blah, 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 blah. A little bit on the shirt I was wearing because I want to see how it translated on clothes. I can't stop. I can't stop. My favorite leather, officially, Atkinson's Diablo Bouquet. Man, this is beautiful. This is this is unisex for men and late women. Oh, oh, tobacco, labdanum, benzoin, 
heliotrope, ginger, and pepper. When you first spray this on, it just smells sweet. I'm gonna break it down to you. I'm not getting all this stuff. I'm not, okay? I don't be playing on games. Sweet. I, I, when I first sprayed this yesterday, because I was in and out the door, I really didn't smell any leather. I really didn't smell it. Even though when I bought it, I read the notes, I really didn't even smell any leather. But man, about 30 minutes in, the leather comes out. This is like a sweet leather glove. This this thing, this is, I, it's an EDT. And I can't get enough. And I can't wait to go around here to the store and grab me something to eat, see what they say about it. I fell with bouquet. Get it. Next, let's talk about leather. I wasn't even gonna talk about this leather, Aqua de Palmas leather. Um, like I said, I remember doing a video on this a long time ago. Actually, I did it out on my on my deck. I went and bought this from um I bought, bought this from Neiman's. As I, you know, a little bit after I bought the oud. I bought this from Neiman's and uh, you know I was like, man, this smells like oud to me. It smells like the oud. Well, later on, I got to check it out. It doesn't smell as much as like oud, but it does have, I think it does have some oud in it. Let's see. Does it have oud in it? No, it doesn't. Okay, so it's leather, cedar. Of course, you got to have some orange or something in it. Lime, rose, uh, cedar. What's this right here? Let's see what this is. Wired wood, okay, wired wood, and rose. I really smell rose in this, so what I did was, since I'm not wearing this today, I started to spray it on paper. And I don't know, maybe the rose comes out later, but I don't really smell rose in this. In my mouth. It's not a bad flavor though. I mean, I think it's better than when I smelled it before. I guess because I wasn't in the game real tight at that time, you know, I hadn't really smelled a lot. And at that time, I think the only thing I was really smelling and kind of comparing it to was Tom Ford's uh, Tuscan Leather. So I probably really didn't give it a fair chance. But um, it's not bad. It's not bad. Some people kind of compare it to uh, Tuscan Leather, but the, the, uh, Tuscan Leather is a little bit different with the raspberry as opposed to here. They're using a, uh, using rose and healing and uh, more uh, citrus. As Aqua Department does well, citrus. So I would say if you don't have any leathers at all, if you don't have any leathers, and you want a harder leather, not like, not like this, not like a Cure Velour, it's like sweeter leathers. If you want something that's really a leather leather, this time for it, uh, Tuscan leather. I, I would say you can go with that. Some other people like the other leathers from Dior, has a leather out as well, I never smelled it before. So uh, yeah. yeah, not bad. Right. Next we have Colonia Intensive. And like I said, this Colonia Intensive, I wasn't even gonna buy this. I was not gonna buy this. I can't get enough of it. You know, y'all know what it is. Y'all know Aqua de Palma bottles. I don't even get that. You know, you go to Neiman's and check it out all day. I, Jenna Pro was first my best. I mean, Mandolo di Sicilia is a vanilla. I'm not even going to include that in this, in this thing. But um, I didn't think I'd even like this. I mean, when I was buying this, I'm like, man, I don't. I was like, man, I don't. <laughs> Look up the notes. Colonia Intensa. Colonia Intensa, let's go. Men and women, whatever. Uh, let's go, it brings sweet freshness of uh, uh, bergamot, citrus, cardamom, ginger, ginger, top notes. Aromatic, uh, you get myrtle, uh, atismia, what the, what's that, Atis, atismasia? Artemisia. Neroli cedar guayac wood. I'm not even a Neroli guy. Um, then a uh, leather patchouli benzoin and musk. You don't have to get this big giant 150 bottle. Get it. Get it. If you want to get something from Aqua de Palma, get that. Or just Jenna Pro, or this one. 
These have become my two favorite from the line. The ginger pro because it has that ginger in it. And y'all know how I feel about ginger. Ginger from, you know, I think I mentioned this in the last video when I was just talking about what I just bought, when I, you know, when I just bought these. That ginger that, that's inside of um, uh, uh, nutmeg and ginger, Joe Malone. Oh, 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 that nutmeg and ginger is so unbelievable. But the nutmeg and the ginger pro, this nutmeg and ginger pro, Man, I ain't know I had it. And I was wondering why I liked it so much when I smelled it. I'm like, why do I like this? Why do I like Jenna Pro? I didn't have it, but I was wondering why I liked it. I knew I wanted to get it one day, but I was just waiting for the right time. Thanks to my man, Andre. He made the right time happen for 100 bucks. Shout out to you again, Andre. Shout out again. Three 99% bottles for 100 bucks. Can't get enough. Jenna Pro is off the chain, I'm telling you. Uh, oh, longevity. Longevity on all these, all day. All day. Now, depending on where you spray, I monster spray. I spray anywhere from 12 to 29. There's nothing, I mean, I know when I need to spray lightly. Some things you need to spray lightly, but when it comes to some stuff, especially most of these are EDT, they're cologne strength. You gotta go in. You just gotta go in, you know what I'm saying? So don't be afraid, go in. Boom, bam, bam, boom. If you got a lot of bottles or if you don't have a lot of bottles, buy a big one if you really like it and make sure you can go in. You feel me? You ain't got, I mean, 12 sprays is not that bad. The sprayers on all these are very respectable. You know, so it's not like you got to gorge yourself. You know, so yeah, go ahead on and boom, bam, bam, boom. Get you a 150 or 100 and spray up, baby. We're going to talk about Dunhill. Dunhill Icon. I sprayed it. I sprayed up the sample. Again, at first... When I really started smelling, like, you know what, this is not bad. But it kept saying I smelled like something else. It smelled like something else. And it smelled a bit, like, too mature for me. It didn't smell like it was fun. It smelled like it was mature. Now, these right here, the poles, fun. Sweet leather tobacco, I mean, tobacco. Sweet tobacco, fun. Woo, lots of fun. Leather, ah, serious, serious. I wouldn't wear this going out with anybody. I don't think I would wear this on it going out with a female. Though. Maybe what with the balls. I wear like leather with the balls. I'm hanging out with the balls. We playing like pool or whatever. Then I probably would wear this. But I wouldn't wear this out with a female. You know, some we females like leather. I wouldn't wear this. Definitely wear out with a female and just definitely to work everywhere. I don't care playing basketball. Jenna Pro the same thing. Wear it all the time, everywhere, no matter. Spraying it up everywhere. Fun. Fun. I had, I'm not buying it because it's not fun. It's old. Old man juice, I'm sorry to tell y'all. Kind of reminds me of uh, Michael Kors for him. Which I kind of like that. I kind of like Michael Kors for him, actually. But um, this will just remind me of um, like the St. Germain's 34 from a uh, uh, dip tea. Kind of reminds me of that. It reminds me of something that's very mature. Some people say, you know, tuxedo or suit or whatever. Man, I wear Atkinson with a suit. You know, I got I gotta wear some other stuff for a suit. I wouldn't grab this for a suit. So somebody's wedding. I, I don't know when I would wear Dunhill, that's why I'm not buying it. So to you guys who like it, I understand. Even my man, my man I really respect. He likes it too. But I it's not my thing. I, I wouldn't spend the money on it. I would spend fifty dollars on it. Just for the design of the bottle. Almost like Valentino was. Valentino was cool. This is on a Valentino's vibe too. You know, I right, but this like it's old. It's like old to me. To me. Oh. Valentino had that beautiful bottle though, you know what I mean? Beautiful flacon. Fifty bucks maybe, probably wouldn't reach for it much. Take the fifty dollars and put it towards something that costs a little bit more and buy that. Last but not least. Last but not least, baby. Last but not least. Peach. Vanilla. No, let, let me let me say it like this. White peach, pear, violet leaf, vitella, bergamot, and mandarin. Floral aromas of ylang-ylang, rose, orange, blossom, and immortelle. Base notes, patchouli, sandalwood, vetiver, oak moss, vanilla, benzoin, and leather. It can only be one thing and one thing only. And that is 
visa. Like I said, I ain't thought about visa maybe months ago. I'm like, man, I want this, but I was trying to find on the cheap. I'm like, man, I gotta find on the cheap. I really wanna spend up my money, but really, ain't too much of a cheap on this. You know, cost me a buck fifty from Neiman's, probably a hundred bucks on the cheap, hundred one dollar. By the time it's shipping, at least I know it's fresh. Woo! The, the, the. The peach in this is unbelievable. And mail it with a pear. Now people say, this is what they say they smell according to notes. Peach, vanilla, and uh, peach, vanilla, and that looks like that's gonna be, uh, what is that? That's like that. That's that benzoin. Peach, vanilla, and benzoin. Now you know benzoin is really like a, like a, a hyper. You know what I mean? Benzoin hype up. Like, like Atkinson has the benzoin in it. It's like hype up the flavor. This will be just for women. Man, you crazy. You crazy. That's what women say it's not as get men. When it dries down, it starts getting manly. Which it does. Last forever. And this is perfume flavor. I never really pick up leather or anything in it. That's way down the line. Cooley's not talking about the shoe, by the way. But. This is just so fruity. It's so fruity. It's so delicious. It's not like it's, it's not like Dion's Danger Roots, because Danger Roots is really, really bright and sweet. This is not really bright and sweet, but it always reminds me of Liaison Danger Roots. Almost. Because if it was anywhere close to Liaison Danger Roots, I wouldn't have bought it. But it's almost like Liaison Danger Roots. But this right here, when it dries down, it gets darker. Liaison Danger Roots by By Killian is brighter. It's definitely a, a sunny beach scent. This right here, you'll wear this at night. Black bottle indicating night noir. Wear this at night. On Facebook, the final message comes through. Some girl says she wants to friend me. Babe, she got me mixed up because I don't even know her. I'm sure a friend must have referred her here. And I don't know, I don't know to tell you. But if anybody of the females on Facebook tell me wearing that, oh, they want me too. Oh, they want me. They want this visa. Along with this odd fellow's bouquet. Everything I have right now, besides the leather, leather's okay. But these four right here, these four of my newbies right here, these joints right here, these joints right here, these joints right here, these four right here. These four right here. I just did my 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 two weeks. I fellow would get in the two weeks. I'm not sure what it will replace. Probably Duel. I probably will re replace Duel with I fellows. Visa. I probably will re replace not Liaison Danger Rules because that is in there. I, re I I can't remember my my two weeks. I probably will replace this Future Secree, since Future Secree is so wild, Future Secree is so wild, this is a little bit more tame. I replace Future Secree with this. I think this made this made it in the two weeks. I think both of these made it in the two weeks, so I don't need to replace these. So that's what we got. That's the video. Thank you guys very much for checking me out. I'm thinking about, like I said, I'm not sure after all this going on on this planet right now. You know, people still getting killed. And police still beating up people and shooting them dead on the ground. I don't know what I want to do today. You know, so I, know I need to get out. I need to get out. I need to go get my vegan sausages, though. I, know, I don't have no food to eat. So I'm going to go do that, man. Just pray for me, man. I pray for you guys. Let's pray for each other, man. Let's pray for this planet, man. Come on, man. Reach out, man. If you have never reached out for God, if you never reach out for the Heavenly Father, and I don't say God because there's many gods around here. We have gods. We have lots of gods around us. Things that we ain't got no been paying attention to over God. But I know my Heavenly Father, I pay, I pay attention to Him first and foremost. So anything that's a God below that, it don't make no difference. Because it's not really a God. I don't pay attention to anything else more than I pay attention to the Heavenly Father. But come on, man. You ain't got to be religious. I'm telling you, I'm not religious at all. I don't have a religion. I don't consider Christianity my religion. I see so many other people in Christianity. I see so many different sects of Christianity. 
Protestant, blah, blah, blah. It's too many. No, I'm a believer in the Heavenly Father, in Yeshua, and the Holy Spirit. That's who I am. That's what I do. That's what I stand for. Pray, man. Pray, ladies. Pray. Stop. Stop. Don't be phony about it. Don't be a part-time prayer. Don't, even if you're drinking a beer, pray. Even if you're drinking, even if you get a little drink on, if you out shopping for something you ain't got no business really buying, pray on it. You know what I mean? Maybe, yeah, okay, go ahead and get it. You know, but pray, man. Pray. Ask Heavenly Father first, all right? I'm out, man. I gotta go. Probably will be cool. Check out my video on, on Facebook. I think I might, I didn't want to offend anybody when I was like, you know, people being out of shape and I was talking about how we spend money on food when we shouldn't, you know, we drinking all these bad sodas and everything. And I only said that, I think I mentioned fat, only because I wasn't really emphasized that we really need to take care of ourselves and stop eating these bad foods, stop eating these potato chips. We don't know where it came from. All this stuff is not good for us. Eat them as a snack, maybe, but not as a, you know, I, I see people at my job and everything and I see them coming down with this church's fried chicken and all this stuff. I feel, I pray for them, I pray for them. Drinking the sodas, they buy these big tall sodas, that diet. That man it don't make no difference. It's not for you. But I pray for you each day, every night. Even the people who don't like me, I pray for you too. Be well. I'm out. May the Heavenly Father look over you as you look over me and my family as well. I'm out. I gotta go. And enjoy them sniffs. Cause I'm real deal with them joints. Holla at your boy!